Okay, this is part two of Grab Goblet Grotto, and it might seem weird, but uh, this is the instruction booklet that comes with the game. Uh, instruction booklet in quotation marks. It's all within the uh, meta of how bizarre the game is. It's supposed to be like, um, you you know how uh, old games came with um, instruction books that would help you play the game, filled with art and how to explore the world and whatnot. This game, uh, quote unquote, comes with one of those as part of like the lore and everything and it's um and we're, we're just gonna go through it here for a few minutes i'm not gonna go through the entire thing because it is massive and each page is filled with something but uh we're just gonna get a basic look here uh you have how to play insert the goblet grotto cd-rom into your cd-rom drive see there is no cd-rom of this game there there is no cd-rom drive uh this game is download only <laughs> Select the type of installation desired. Well, you just click on the game and it runs. Follow all on-screen instructions and commands. A short video will play. Uh, there was no video. <laughs> launch Goblet Grotto from its desktop icon or launch it from the start menu. Launch Goblet Grotto from C program files Goblet Grotto. <laughs> Which there isn't because there is no installation of it. It's just the basic files in the, uh, in the folder and you can play the game from the folder. You will see the title screen. Select new game. Welcome to a land of dreams and fantasy. Well, it is that, so that's true. Use the keyboard and mouse to navigate. Look at and react to the pictures on the screen. Follow all on-screen instructions and commands. Storing equipment. Most equipment can be stored inside chests, boxes, and lockers. If a piece of equipment is unusually large, try locating a large chest, box, or locker. <laughs> There is no equipment to store. You just attack the enemies and collect goblets. Um, <laughs> so this is where it starts going into um, the whole um, meta lore thing. Testing your blood. Visit the witch for a blood test. <laughs> you can't do that. Accessing the shop. Again, there's no shop. None of these things are in the game. The shop can and should be accessed 24 hours a day. Try to spend accumulated goblets here or barter for more goblets. Try to steal more goblets. <laughs> Buying a house. The most desirable thing is having a house in which to store and display your equipment and goblets. If you have a spouse, they will be waiting here. <laughs> Click and drag your spouse onto the bed. <laughs> Click and drag your spouse into the shower. Click and drag your spouse towards your goblet display shelf and observe their reaction. Drag your spouse into the cellar. Fill rooms with goblets. Pack rooms so tightly with treasures and goblets that your spouse cannot move a single inch. Oh my god. <laughs> Wandering. It may happen that you become lost in an unfamiliar space carpeted or tiled, decorated with artificial plants and reproductions of paintings, not unlike the lobby of a tall building or a room at the convention center or the airport. Well, that does happen to me a lot. I do get lost in real life. <laughs> Play along reference guide. The following materials will aid you in your quest for goblets. Guide to toad glyphs. This was my favorite part. Let's let it load here. Yeah, here's the guide to all of the glyphs that appear above Swampy's head in the game. These actually, um, these are the ones that appear, and uh, they all mean something. And um, I spent some time looking at this, and it turns out that they they are situational, and th they are um, coming up as a reaction to what you are around. So that part is really interesting. Uh, let's see. You got crimes, you've got Dario, I'm not sure who he is. <laughs> Doctor, rare egg, clay pot, ignorance, hopeless, map, hidden, medicine, nighttime, shouting bird, searching for, wild. What else do we have here? Below are examples of extremely common phrases formed by creating compound glyphs. Up, oh, boots of Achilles is broken. Let's see if we can load it. No, I'm not messing with that right now. I am searching for scepter. I 
I'm searching for lion sword, mirror shield, gemerald. I can't find the exit. I don't want to die. You'll see that one a lot. I don't want to die, which is over here. Hello, you'll see that one all around a lot. Hello, friend, you'll see that one a lot. Let's trade, you'll see that sometimes. I'm starving. That one might come up. I'm searching for goblets. That one has come up before. And I think there was one for I'm burning or I'm on fire, but I can't remember where that one was. Use this page to understand what your toad is saying. Grotto toads cannot comprehend traditional writing, but they have devised a simple pictographic language. Here are some basic glyphs and their approximate translations. Guide to monster. Oh my gosh, it's all over the place. And I'm pretty sure the fact that it's all over the place is intentional, so... Tarman, a primitive skeleton. Tarmen are produced by locking bodies inside sarcophagi and having them molder away for centuries. Although the result is considerably stronger than a regular slop clean skeleton, it has been driven completely insane by the process of long term decomposition and thus has very low roles for both bargaining and trap detection skills. That sounds like something out of a horror game. Mr. Snake. Mr. Snake will descend to any level of the labyrinth if he thinks it will get him a good deal. This debonair snake is easily recognized by his handsome cape. Every Mr. Snake has a subject of interest, such as astronomy, modern agriculture, ethics, or gourmet foods. If you can, if you can determine the subject of interest for a specific Mr. Snake, you run. For a specific Mr. Snake, you you run the chance of dealing. Plus 15% damage per strike. Though though naturally retiring, Mr. Snake will strike if you wander too close. King. Large and low... Bleh, words. Large and noble mollusks. Known for their fierce hatred of the democratic process. <laughs> see also enzymes. Let me see how far it scrolls over. Oh my gosh. Mystery bows. Wolf. Mushroom Knight, Policeman. The, we will see Policeman in the game. Robber Bear, Brick Bud. Very affectionate, made of brick. Living Ooze. Can Ooze be alive? An answer is requested. Yes, an answer is requested. Fireman, we will see them. Dwarfs, we will see them. <clears throat> Mummy, I can't remember if we see them or not. Pesu dog. A dog who is also a certified professor of film. Driven by alimony to hunt for goblets. The, the Sioux dog. This says Pesu dog. The Sioux dog is completely poisonous. Skeleton. And we will see these. I can't remember if we... No, we saw those already. The skeleton is a type of mold that grows inside the body of unwary travelers over a period of many years. It will slowly consume the flesh and organs of a host body before resources exhausted. It steps forth as a nimble and autonomous orga organism in itself. Their famed insistence on cleanliness is due to a mortal terror that someday this process may happen in reverse. Now that's really interesting about skeletons. I want to see that used more in... Um, in uh, different works of fiction and whatnot. Heaving muck, peasants, enzymes, gorgon, kobold, pleosaur, survivalist, gorst, gorse, sorry, pit pit, a kind of personable slug emits a deadly wind, deep man, goblet max, dirt dog, Goblet. Collect all the goblet. Notice that the goblet is under monster in the uh, Monsterpedia. Sp 
supplementary paragraphs. This is why I'm not doing the entirety of this book. Look at how many chapters there are. Look at this. And each one has something. The entire room is filled with coins the size of your torso. The coins bear the image of your face. Half of the floor slopes into a shallow blue pool. After 60 seconds, you are asked to leave. Let's click on another random one. You rub your face, mouth, and body on every surface inside the medicine room, but your disease is not cured. <laughs> You tumble over the cliffside and land face first on the spike bed below. Strong unseen hands, or maybe tentacles, push your wriggling form deeper into the pit, pulping your flesh and bone until you drip like slurry through the cracks in the concrete basin and into the reservoir below. Inside the reservoir, you find five goblets. This is very much like a horror game. <laughs> what else can we click on? Oh, okay. The monkeys in the palms are black and motionless. Look, she points, a row of corpses along the path. If they hit you with a coconut, it's an instant kill. Now we'll do one more. A spring-loaded boxing glove spring from the pie center, killing you instantly. Well, that's fitting for our last bit in here. So, yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the uh, handbook, the guidebook to Goblet Grotto, just as weird as the game itself as it's intended to be. And uh, it's one of my favorite parts of the game. I, I like how much effort was put into it. And um, I like that um, uh, the developers went out of the way, uh, the two guys, they went out of the way to uh, make this as part of the game instead of just making like just the game itself. Because the game itself is still pretty cool, I think, for um, as much as is in it. And um, they, they even made this uh, book with all of this stuff on top of that. And I think that's pretty awesome. So that was the Goblet Grotto Handbook. And the next time we will be returning back into the world of the game proper. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.